we're back in Asda where there was literally a couple here before. There's like a whole box here now, so uh, they've definitely got some new ones. I've been through it all, they're all there. I will put them all back in there. Sadly, nothing here today. Oh, look, found a Sooth treasure. No, <laughs> never ever look at multi packs. Caught my eye. The Ford Mustang set. Oh man, some of these are really nice. Definitely got me tempted. Still in Asda, literally in the sweetie aisle. The most random thing here. Look at this. Why? Why run? Why there? I'm not complaining. Still cool. I'm in Poundland. They've restocked, and this time I didn't miss it. I got the treasure hunt. <laughs> well, look where we are again. It's only been about a week since I was last here. Uh, they said they don't restock very often, so they very well might not have, but it's worth a try. It definitely looks like it's been neatened up. There's less there as well. It was a lot deeper before. Look, it's like half gone. Look how neat they are at the bottom. <laughs> I've never seen them displayed like this before. It's starting to look like Wednesday and Thursday and Saturday are the days to come out. Just asked in Halfords, and they have literally just said Wednesday and Saturday is their delivery days. I don't know if that's the same everywhere else, but here it is. <laughs> oh, one more place to go to today. We go get a drink first. We're in Sainsbury's. Looks a lot less than there was before. I mean, some random garlic sauce there. I think it might just be old stuff. I'll check. I've gone through the entire thing. Yeah, it's just old stock. Keep on seeing this. I've seen it like three or four times just in here, and each time I've convinced myself that it was the super treasure. No, and I wouldn't actually know whether I pick it up like in that condition. I mean, who am I kidding? Yeah, I would. I literally turned around and just found another one. The other one is there. I've come. I found this one. You never know. Nope. Nope. These were even older than the other ones and worse condition. Saturday, I'm gonna go to all the supermarkets and stuff in our local area. I'm gonna score all of them out of 10. But yeah, let's see how it goes. So we're in Entertainer. Not really sure how I feel about it. The amount of Hot Wheels cars that were here are definitely not here anymore. They used to be here, been replaced by this, as you can see, and moved literally just here. Probably about half of the Hot Wheels there was before. Dig through, see if there's anything new. I'm so confused. Um, what's just happened? <laughs> well, I'm gonna start collecting a few and I saw this and... You found your first treasure hunt? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. I didn't even mean to, I just like the car. This one's mine look. Good. <laughs> Quite literally just picked it up because she liked the car. Sorry. It's a bit bent and a little bit ripped, but for her first treasure, uh, I'm a bit bent. you were going to buy it even if it weren't a treasure, weren't you? Yeah, because I just love it. Result turned out all right in the end, really. So she got herself a first treasure hunt. <laughs> um, I've got some good news about this channel actually and regarding my wife so now she's brought her first one my wife sometimes comes into the channel she has now kind of become a little bit obsessed with Hot Wheels from now on she's going to be featured heavily on the channel I've made a sale already um, it's just here it's nice and quick Seventeen fifty, going straight into the fund it was just two Pokemon cards that had been slabbed um, I sold them quite cheap but it's added to the fund we are at the first location um, there's two places here. We've got Aldi and we've got Sainsbury's. You've seen Sainsbury's. I literally was there the other day. Never looked for Hot Wheels in an Aldi before. I just thought, why not? Oh, and not so far from here is Lidl. There we go. Never been into an Aldi to look for Hot Wheels before. I'm going to try and find the obvious part. Well, what have you spotted? Yeah. They're skinny, so I actually are healthy. So as I was saying, I'm going to look at like the toy and stuff area i'm assuming it'll be around here so i feel like it's got to be somewhere here if there is any even if we don't find hot wheels we would definitely be getting these this is the toy aisle and i don't see any hot wheels but i'm going to try the next one spoke to a member of staff they did have some really recently but not anymore they were all in the special buys and they literally came and went so that's a bit gutting uh move on to sainsbury's now so she's found some cookies some crisps and some like strawberry mini bar things not bad you know so aldi kind of got to rate it based on three things so we've got 
location, we've got quantity and quality. Uh, quantity and quality of the Hot Wheels are basically, I've got to say zero because there was none, uh, but location out of 10, uh, because it's basically right next to a bus stop, um, it's gotta be for location alone, probably I'd say a seven, because it's pretty decent and it's, it yeah, and we're up here quite often. It's very close to all the other places. So yeah, absolutely gutted that there was no Hot Wheels, but off to Sainsbury's. So we're in Sainsbury's and it literally looks basically the same as it did the other day. Um, you can see these are all very worse for wear. Um, this looks like it was the box from the other side and unless this is new, which again, I'm not sure, it doesn't particularly look very new, but I'm gonna have a quick look around, quick butchers. Let's hope we find at least something. That would be nice. That was Sainsbury's and that was a bust. Based on today alone, location, good location. Uh, it's kind of all the way at the back of the store, so it's a bit uh, uh, But I'm gonna give the location, I'd say a six. Quantity, there was a good amount. Not based on if they're really good cars or anything, but just the amount. I'm gonna say a five on that. Quality, it was way down there. They were all bashed, they? The, they were literally all bashed. Do you wanna come quantity? in? You've got loads for quantity, well, not loads. Quantity, I give it a six. Quality is worse than that. Quite uh. a lot worse. I'd say, I don't know, quality, I'd say three. Yeah. <laughs> Can't have been much better really than that. Know. Even though it was rubbish, it's doing better than Aldi so far. We're thinking because this has been kind of rubbish, we're gonna go to another town and there's like another entertainer there or a pound land and toy, just- Toy store. Another, yeah, toy, toy store. store. There's literally a store that's called Toy Store, which I've filmed here before. Wouldn't say we've had the best of luck this morning, aside from my wife finding the treasure hunt. That's essentially the only thing we found. I've literally just called up Lidl and they don't have any in there. So we're not gonna waste the trip. Uh, we are going to go to the other town, as I said, instead. So this video kind of hasn't turned out the way I wanted it, but at least now I can do this in the future. I'm still going to rate the ones I go to. Uh, they're just not all going to be supermarkets. I made another sale, which is here. It's three Pokemon cards, just singles, and that added up to £10. This is the next place that we are going today. Fingers crossed, we find some goodies. So there's a good few here. I'm going to go through and then I'll update if you find anything. Are you enjoy yourself? A little bit. What have you found? I mean, it's not the one I wanted, but they do have a bone shaker. Are you going to get it? I think. You're actually going to get it? I think. Amazing. No, oh, that one's raw. I've got the best tool here. She's now found another bone shaker that she likes. Which one do you think is better, like, condition? We're still looking. I uh, decided to put the Thunderbird back. It's not really something I'm particularly fond of. I like it, but it's not my favorite type of thing so believe it or not my wife it's her day today she's gone for the two bone shakers uh, what colors are they it's the black one and like a burgundy, burgundy. it's really cool because we've seen the burgundy one a few times but i've never actually seen the black one um but they're beautiful i can't actually believe it uh, my wife has just decided to give me her treasure hunt that she found um yeah, man, that's, it's amazing. She knows that I collect them. She's She liked it, but she's just not... <laughs> but she's just generally not so bothered by it, but she wants the bone shakers. So that's what she's getting right now. We're not sure, but we're going to try WH Smith. We've seen some places online that do... They say that they have them. So my wife's intuition was correct. They normally have them there, but they don't get them too often purely because of, like, people... They're just too easy to steal and that. So uh, worth looking in your local area if you've got one. We're in Entertainer in Coventry and... You just see it's just a bit manic here um this is kind of more what it's like where i live but um these have been ransacked definitely so maybe we'll come one day when they've brought the uh new stock out but we're never here we're not here as often so we don't know we're back in the most hit and miss place i've ever been will there be more or less that actually looks like there's a few uh probably none that are new but we're definitely going to go through this it's an improvement from last time. We actually found some stuff in Poundland. So I'm gonna go for the Dodge Challenger. I'm not sure if I've got this one, but I've now I've been umming and ahhing about it for a little while. Um, also the Audi and the Renault Sport RS. I know obviously that's the Super. Um, I wanted the main line of it for a while. Um, it's the first time I've come across it, so I can't leave it. I finally dived into the fund and spent £11.50 on the small bundle just here. 
It's the Pokemon Tops cards and some like older Yu-Gi-Oh cards. There's one in there which I think should net me profit just by itself. So then everything else is literally just pure profit. So I've got to deduct that from the total. And also literally just made one here. I uploaded 40 or 50 cards. Um, there was a bundle of five which sold for £11.89. With the one deduction and all of the new sales, we've got a total of £89.73. So that means in the next episode, I will be buying the first super treasure hunt. So we're back home now. I'm gonna make this super duper quick. First one we got was the Dovit Drifter, the treasure hunt. Um, I don't actually have that with me right now. Second one, which is what my wife found, is this one right here look how stunning that is this is the newest one this is the newest treasure hunt um honestly it is beautiful it was so amazing she actually decided she wanted to give it me uh speaking of my wife these are the two pickups that she had they are the two bone shakers it's like the black one and the burgundy one i picked up the Renault sport the mainline version of the super i may be getting this as the super mm. next one is the aldi that is so nice Last but not least is the Dodge Challenger. So today it's a super quick outro. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Honestly, watch out for the next episode. If all goes well, uh, there may potentially be a super treasure in there. Uh, with maybe dipping into the fund. But yeah, you'll only know that if you've watched until the very end of the video. So thank you all so much for watching. If you do me a giant favour and hit that like button um, and subscribe down below. I'll see you next week.